Hey everyone, how you doing today? It is I, Vicious XUSMC, and we were returning for our Let's Play journey of Let's Play Secret of Mana 2. We just left the Dwarf Village, we got Gnome now, the Spirit of Earth, as our new ally. So can you believe it? It is yet again another muddy, rainy, dark day outside. So I went ahead and uh, I, I, I go for a mountain bike ride like usually every Sunday. I haven't gone in a month now so I'm feeling kind of bad about that. So I went to the store, I went to Publix down the road to get some lunch and they get some groceries for the house. Tell me if I'm the only one that has this. If I had, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all syndrome. While I was at Publix, I decided I was finally going to try that buffalo chicken tinder stuff that looks so freaking good on the commercials. And I got to the deli, and there's only two people in line at the, the sandwich place. It's just two people, and they're together. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'll just wait here for my, my lunch. It was the last thing I did. I went around the store and got all my stuff first so I could get my fresh sandwich and go home and eat. Well, apparently these two people were picking up food for other people, so they had four subs. Not a lot of food, you know? But the guy making them was the slowest sandwich maker in the world. I sat and watched him make their sandwiches for like 20 minutes. And it wasn't completely his fault because like, he'd be like, okay, tomatoes, and they'd be like, oh, I don't know, let me, let me call and ask, and then have to call. And then when he's all done making them, they're like, oh, and I'm gonna, I want this one pressed with honey butter, and you gotta like, do a whole bunch of crap to do that, and it takes a lot of time. Oh, you sniped me from the tree with a dart. Ah. So you know what? The, the one thing I give this guy is even though he was slower than Molasses, he was really good at making sandwiches. He made them to perfection. However, after waiting my 20 minutes, as this guy was finishing up the last of their sandwiches, finally, the guy who was slicing sandwich meat for everybody, comes over to the sandwich place, he's like, hey, what do you want? And I was like, uh, a foot long white buffalo chicken tender or something. He's like, okay. And he like throws my sandwich together in like 30 seconds. And I kid you not. And I was just so sad because like after watching this guy make perfect sandwiches for 20 minutes, I ended up getting the a-hole who doesn't care about his job that throws my sandwich together in like 30 seconds and seems to be on my way. So I just got done eating it. It was good, but not nearly as good as I thought it would be. Let me give you another example of that. If I had... Didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Syndrome. Like, driving to work last night, going down the main road. I'm the only car on the road. And it's a two-lane road. And there's a really long red light that comes up that I always usually get past. One of the few. But then the car comes out of nowhere and like cuts me off to make a turn into a parking lot. Like, he's speeding, like, way faster than he should be. He gets in front of me, slows down like an emergency stop, and I have to stop to not hit him. And then as he turns into the parking lot, I get the red light that would have been green and I had to wait for five minutes for no reason. So annoying. So annoying. Huh. So how are you guys doing? You should tell me in the comments about your luck. I'd like to hear about your luck. Other than that, though, all things are good. Just got a new episode section for Sanctum Up, and let's get, uh, getting today's Secret of Mana 2 done. Let's go ahead and talk about the cannon now. I got some gunpowder for you, buddy. Hmm? Who are you? Uh, gunpowder. Alright! I didn't forget. Now, um, what was that about gunpowder? Punched him in the face! <laughs> of course, the cannon, um, meet me out back. I'll be there in a minute. Bon voyage sounds like some kind of like French guy's name, like he'd have a French accent, like, hey, hey, mon chéri. Finally, a chance to test my ultra gorgeous turbo cannon to wind, okay, direction, check, destination, for Senna, ready for lunch. Sure, why not? You, you know, half my gut. My guys are half dead. Don't try this at home, kids. You're not made out of pixels, so you might get hurt. Uh, 
Uh, looks like he missed a little bit. Fort Santa was way up there to the northeast. Oh, hey! I think I broke a nail. We're in the Mole Bear Highlands. These guys are pretty resilient. Oh, we gotta level up. Let's go for agility. Agility is not just dodging enemy attacks, it's also hitting them. So if I don't raise his agility a little bit, he'll miss too much. Hey, you folks headed for Forsena? Ah, King Richard, I see. I'm Duran, swordsman of Forsena. Nice to meet you. I was traveling around until I heard Altena was planning an attack, so I returned. You look like fighters yourselves. Maybe you could lend us a hand. I'm in kind of a hurry, so you'll excuse me. Altena is invading Forsena. What should I do? Blow stuff up with your magic. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, you taunt me! Oh man, you're getting kind of low. They seem kind of earth based. Ah, it takes a lot of casts. a little bit of a lag and it's time there wasn't. Oh crap. No more healing items. I got a few in storage.
There we go, fresh is new. And since I just healed up, that means there's probably a safe point in it. Something like that right ahead. Let's go to this one. when you punch them. Tenna, invasion, the king is in danger. Burninator! Angela and the others began to realize they had walked into the middle of an invasion. At it. I'll go pay the king a little visit. Yes, sir! Ooh, look at that. Walking through doors. Cause he's a cool bad guy. Oh no! What, what if Corrin gets the king? Then he'd probably kill him. Uh, okay, she's only passed out. We have to stop this before there's any more casualties. We can't walk through doors because we're not a cool bad guy, so we gotta take a long way. Hang in there! I, I'm fine. I'll recover. Leave me. Go save the king! Hey, yay! I told you there'd be one of these close by if I used all my healing items. I knew it! So it works really good on these, we'll try it. Eighty, yeah, actually that was pretty good. Mwahaha! <laughs> 
locked on that. Although I better take it easy because I still don't have any magic region items. So I'll get to a boss fight and I'll be SOL. Nico when you need him with his bag of items. I'm pretty low on items here. Alright, right, I feel like it's tough soon. What is that? That looks like it's gonna hurt. Oh, smash the treasure chest. I feel like we should have had a weapon upgrade by now. I wonder if we missed one. It seems like no matter what I do, when I'm trying to go the wrong way to find any items, I'm going the right way. There's been so many doors and passages I've skipped. Uh, oh well, let's just go the right way. I think I'm gonna have to farm some levels after this episode off screen. I'm feeling a little bit underleveled here. I'll fight them. You go on to the king.
<laughs> we made it at last, O oh, Honorable King Richard. So, it was indeed the Wizard of the Red Lotus who spied upon us that night. Tell me, why has Valda, the Queen of Reason, chosen to attack for Senna? Simple. We need your mana stone, and we'll stop at nothing to get it. The Queen's only regret is that she couldn't be here to take it in person. Indeed. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Fine. Then die! Stop! Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Of all the people in the world, I never thought I'd see you here, Angela. We'll meet again, that's for sure. Wait till your mother hears about this. Uh-oh, you're gonna get grounded, Angela. Your Majesty! Duran! I was a mercenary of Forsena, but I went on a quest to find the Crimson Wizard. Your Majesty, I'm curious. Do you know why my mother, the Queen of Reason? What? You're, you're Valda's daughter? Yes, but I left Altena because my mother tried to kill me. I don't believe it. Valda had a daughter? <laughs> what? What is it? No, it's nothing. It's not nothing! Stop hiding it and tell me! Hey, don't, to the ki don't talk to the king like that! It's alright. My princess, you will find out soon, but now is not the time. Valda, how could she think of killing her own daughter? We're looking for the mana stones and their spirits. Please, tell us where they are. A fairy. I remember seeing one back in my dragon fighting days. I was one of the chosen ones. Really? That fairy died at the hands of the dragon emperor though. So this must be a different fairy, and that means the world is in danger again. There are eight mana stones in the world. From the stones come the eight elements, earth, water, fire, wind, light, dark, moon, and wood. Each mana stone is guarded by a corresponding elemental spirit. So far we found Wiss, the spirit of light, and Gnome, the spirit of earth. Hello! Ah! Then, there are six left. You should visit the Wind Mana Stone next. It's located in the Corridor of Wind in Rolante. The closest port is Palo. You can take a ship there from the Merchant City of Bizel. I understand, thank you. To find the rest of the Mana Stones, you will need the Wind Spirit Jin's help. Come back to me when you have found him. Good luck! Alright guys, we've definitely gone over 15 minutes on this one, I think. It's dragging out the story, but it was, you know, good uh, progression here, the storyline. I didn't die to a boss fight, thankfully. So we're gonna head back to Baizel, it looks like, and then off to where Lise came from, the Wind Kingdom, to get the Wind Spirit of Jin. So that's what's gonna happen next episode. Be sure to tune in next time. <laughs>